As Alice Barr reporting, and some local school districts are adding the crisis in Ukraine to their lesson plans. We're talking with one district on how they are teaching kids to understand what's happening between Russia and Ukraine. Two News reporter Alice Gens joins us live in the studio with why school and health officials say it's important to teach kids about the crisis in Ukraine. Allison. While not part of the curriculum, Fairborn teachers are finding ways to incorporate what's happening in Ukraine into their lesson plans. At Fairborn City Schools, the crisis in Ukraine is coming up in the classrooms. We don't have a, a curriculum for this Russia-Ukrainian war. We just can speak in current terms. Superintendent Jean Lawley says the lessons are happening primarily on the high school level in classes where students can put today's conflict into context. In our current events classes and our world studies classes that um, we compare and contrast, maybe if we're talking about a previous war, we do a comparison and contrast of what's going on now. Lolly says the district's goal in teaching about the crisis in Ukraine is to encourage students to think critically about the topic as they watch events unfold. It's very, very important to, to teach the kids what are, are going on in the world, it's particularly what's going to affect them, not only now, but in, in the future. Lolly says the district encourages these conversations to continue at home, and experts with Dayton Children's recommend that parents take the lead on the topic, initiating the conversation because despite our best efforts, they are going to encounter this topic at school, overhearing things on the news, YouTube, they will come across this information. And as parents, we wanna make sure that we are the hub for them of any sort of information like this. Dayton Children's recommends parents start the conversation with open-ended questions and answer honestly in a way that your child will understand. In the studio, Allison Gens, 5 on 2.